All right, in this video, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be talking to you about the different parts of a quadratic when we graph it out onto a coordinate grid. One of the things that I notice that students struggle a lot with is just not knowing the vocabulary. So when a teacher's in front of a class and they're using words like vertex, axis of symmetry, parabola, if you don't know what those words mean or what we're trying to say when we discuss those topics, then you're gonna be in for a world of struggles. So what you need to first learn is the vocabulary so that when your teacher's teaching the subject, you're understanding what's being discussed. That's what this video is for, and hopefully by the end of it, you can tell all different parts of a quadratic. So a quadratic equation is an equation gonna be written in the form of y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. If you're watching this video, my hope is that you're just now starting with quadratics, you're learning the characteristics of them, and this is gonna hopefully help you in getting through the unit with success. All right, so here's a quadratic equation, and what it creates is this U-shaped figure. Okay, the U-shaped figure can look like this, and other times it's going to look like this. So it can go U-shaped, I like to call this like an umbrella, right? If you were to go like this, you can kind of picture an umbrella, right? So, the parabola is what this is called. P-A-R-A-B-O-L-A, -A -A, parabola. So this is a parabola, and the parabola has different parts when we put it onto a coordinate grid. So specifically, one of the most important parts to the parabola is the center line. We call this the axis of symmetry. A U-shaped figure is symmetrical, no different than a heart. If you were to fold it on both sides, a heart would fold over right on top of one another. Oh, I dropped my cap. Okay, so we call this the axis of symmetry. And the reason we call it that is quite simple. If I were to take the right side of this and fold it over to the left side, this would fold perfectly right on top. It's a matching side. So the axis of symmetry basically just divides the two sides of the parabola symmetrically. All right? Next part you need to understand is the low point. In this case, it's a low point. In this case, it would be a high point. So when it's a low point, we call it a minimum. When it's a high point, you guessed it, we call it a maximum. But the high or the low point of a parabola has a definition of, or a term of vertex. The vertex is the high or the low point of the parabola. Vertex is the high or the low point of a parabola, okay? So what have we discussed? We've discussed what the shape itself is called. The U shape or the umbrella shape is a parabola. When it's a low point, the vertex is a minimum. When it's a high point, the vertex is a maximum. And then we have the axis of symmetry that separates the left and the right side of the symmetrical figure. One last and final part is right there and right there. The two x-intercepts, the two parts where we hit on this shape, the u-shape goes boom, boom, it hits right there and right there. These are roots or solutions. Roots or solutions for the quadratic. So in this case, we have two roots or two solutions. Could I have a graph with a parabola right up there that never hits the x-axis? We never hit the x-axis, so we have no solutions or no roots to this quadratic. And there are scenarios where we have one root, and that would be the vertex is the only point that hits the x-axis. One root, two roots, no roots. All right, so back to it. What are the important terms you need to understand? You need to understand what a parabola is. It's the U-shaped figure that is created from a quadratic. You need to know that the vertex is the high or the low point. You need to know that the two points that hit the x-axis are solutions or our roots. Those are what we're gonna be finding in this uh, unit. And then the axis of symmetry would be the line that separates the left and the right side of the parabola. All right, I know there's a lot of terms here, but start to study them. Go into your notebooks, read the definitions multiple times, 
Watch this video until you can start to say the term before I show it, and then eventually study and prepare for an upcoming test. You got this. Once your teachers start using the terms and you know what they're saying when they say the vertex, hey, go find the vertex real quick. If you don't have to think about what that is and you just know, oh, that's my high or my low point, life gets a lot easier. Study hard and good luck on your upcoming test.